finally back here with another video. Took a bit of a longer break than I normally do. I officially have my PhD defense coming up on July 12th, and I've also been furiously sending out as many job applications as I can. So things are a little extra crazy and hectic right now, but I'm still gonna try and get out as many videos as I can. So today I want to go back and kind of revisit a video topic that I did a while ago now, and that is the super cheap, like $10 Minnie Mouse ears that you can get direct from China on eBay and also on AliExpress. I'll link that original video here where I ordered about four Minnie Mouse ears on eBay for about $10 each direct from China, and three of those pairs, truly everything about them, even the tags, the FAC numbers on them, was absolutely identical to the ears that you find in the Disney parks. And then there was only one pair of ears where clearly things don't look too right. This tag is definitely way off. It has this weird extra fun fan amuse tag on it, but the ears themselves overall still look pretty good. So my conclusion was that a lot of the ears that you do see appear to be actual like factory seconds or overruns coming from factories that do produce the ears for the Disney parks. But clearly something like this with this extra weird tag probably wasn't ever meant for the parks, and so perhaps the actual ear factories are also producing their own extra kind of counterfeits. But the reason why I wanted to revisit and check back into this topic is because now you can find ears that are supposed to be, you know, special limited edition, limited release coming up for sale direct from China. And so for me, the normal Disney Parks ears are so expensive for what like low quality they are, but with ears that are supposed to be collectibles, and especially ears that have a very high resale value, and that's where you get into trickier waters. That kind of starts to get into the situation of fake pins getting into the collectibles market and people actually wanting the real authentic item, and if you're paying for something, you don't want to get a knockoff. So I decided to check out some of these special limited release ears that you can get direct from China, in addition to a few other ears that are now popping up with slightly different tags. So hopefully this will help a little bit in terms of like a guide on Minnie Mouse ear authenticity if you care about that, or also just, you know, another update hey, you probably can get these ears for cheaper than direct from Disney. So before I talked about the ears that I actually ordered and have with me, I wanted to talk about the Space Mountain Minnie Mouse, the main attraction ears that you can now find on eBay and AliExpress in quite abundance. Now, I did not bother to order any of these because I couldn't find them for less than $20 shipped, and I don't want to spend that much on a pair that I don't need and I know is not authentic. So this is a case where the ears clearly are technically counterfeit because if you look at the tag, that is a standard short tag. It's one of these little tags that come on pretty much all the regular ears from the Disney parks, but as hopefully everybody should know, the Minnie Mouse, the main attraction ears all come with a heinously long tag on them. So these are ears that are clearly being made, perhaps by the factories that Disney actually uses, but as ones that they are just selling themselves. You can also tell the coloring and pattern on the bow fabric isn't quite correct. And so now these really are counterfeits flooding the market. And my main concern is more so, say if you find a pair of these ears listed by a US-based seller on Mercari, and you're like, oh wow, the Space Mountain ears, I got a great deal on them. And you buy from them, and you've just actually bought a counterfeit pair of ears that they themselves have gotten from China. So there was no need for me to even spend the money to get these on hand to know for sure that they're a counterfeit because the tag on them instantly gives them away. Now the two other special limited edition limited release ears that I ordered were also part of the Minnie Mouse The Main Attraction series. We have the Peter Pan ears and the King Arthur Carousel ears. Coincidentally, I have previously owned the authentic versions of both of these. I had gotten them direct from Shop Disney, but I ended up trading them away. So I have a video from last summer like showing the authentic ones of these. And so I was especially curious to buy these. These were about $10 to $12 each because they come with the original Minnie Mouse The Main Attraction tags. So unlike the Space Mountain ears, this has the full actual long Minnie Mouse The Main Attraction tag and it has this whole official tag on it too. So this is what comes on all of the actual Minnie Mouse The Main Attraction merchandise, and then on the back of this is the spot where a price tag should go. 
Now the thing is, I only in hand have the Minnie Mouse plush to compare that to with this tag versus the tag that's on the ears. And they definitely are a little different in terms of their color and texture, but it's hard to say, is there a difference between the plush and where the plush is made versus the ears? But the case that kind of seems to be for these ears is that they might be actual factory seconds. Front, everything looks exactly like it should, exactly like on the pairs direct from Shop Disney. But you can see on the back here, one of the ears is oriented incorrectly. And this was actually what the photo looked like online of the listing. And I did see people when this set came out, they accidentally received ears that had this same error. So it's very possible with something like this, coming with seemingly all of the original tags exactly as they should, would be a factory second. Then we have the Peter Pan main attraction ears. Again, same exact thing as the King Arthur carousel ears, the exact long tag that you should have on these ears. And this again has the little cardboard extra big tag here. Also same case where it doesn't have a price tag, but it has a spot for it. These ears actually look a little bit better on camera than in real life, but you can see that this star pattern on here is so faint. It's supposed to be very clear, kind of like in white sequins, but it's like there was a major defect with this. This wasn't pictured on the listing, but the bow is exactly how it should look. That Tinkerbell is exactly how it should look. So with this being a flaw, that also kind of helps the case of these being made possibly true scrapper ears. However, I did see those same two pairs of ears being sold in listings without the Minnie Mouse, the main attraction tags on them. They, so I'd be curious if those are the same as these or if those are more in the category of the Space Mountain ears where they would technically be counterfeits. Moving on to some other ears. Guess which pair I bought directly from my Disney store outlet, like on sale for $5, and guess which pair I bought on eBay for about $10. So this pair I got at my Disney store outlet, and this pair came from eBay. Now the reason why I wanted to get one of these pairs of ears so that I could truly compare it to one that I do own because a lot of the ears now are coming with these fake Shanghai Disney Resort tags. Oh, this is just a total, total weird fake tag. It also says something about like Winnie the Pooh on the bottom. Random weird price here. This does not look or feel at all like the actual tags from Shanghai Disneyland. If you want real authentic merch from Shanghai, I always buy it from SHDR store on eBay. And actual Shanghai tags always have a little silver holographic emblem there. It's a total different feel to the tags. And also clearly the fact that they say Winnie the Pooh on here. This is not at all a real Shanghai tag. This does have the standard Disney Parks tag on this. But what I noticed this was missing is that there didn't seem to be an FAC number on the tag anywhere. The previous years I had gotten on eBay did have the FAC number. And then this one here is a recent pair from California Adventure. Kept the tags on this because this has an FAC number right there. So everything with this tag looks good except for the fact that it doesn't seem to have a batch code. However, aside from the tags, the only difference between these ears is that the ones I got direct from Disney are slightly puffier. Otherwise, the fabric used everywhere, all of the materials, the little flower on top is exactly the same. Like showing them like this, you would not be able to tell which pair was from eBay and which one wasn't. So my theory is that they are putting these fake Shanghai Disney Resort tags on ears that they kind of produce as extras in the factories that do produce the actual Disney ears. So you could perhaps brand this as a technical counterfeit but it's also so close and similar to a factory second or even like an overrun. But at least know if you're buying ears secondhand, you know, from a US based seller on eBay and you see this fake Shanghai tag on that, know that these ears did not come from the parks. I got one more pair of ears from that same seller with the same tag issue because I thought they were really funny since these ears don't actually exist. So these are lollipop ears, but these are fabric. The ears that Disney sells are like a plastic. So they look exactly like them, except these are made out of fabric. The bow design is the same and the fabric used all around is pretty similar. But this again, it has the super fake Shanghai Disney Resort Winnie the Pooh tag on it 
got this standard tag on here, and this as well also seems to be missing an FAC number. So my question is, why slash how does this exist? So it was there like a prototype batch where Disney thought maybe they were gonna do the lollipops out of fabric and then later switch to doing them out of hard plastic. I, I just thought their existence was kind of extra interesting. Now I ordered one last pair of ears on eBay. These were actually about $15 shipped and these were from Tokyo Disney Resort. These are a really unique flower crown style ears that are so comfortable and amazing to wear because it's like a head elastic. It's not actually a headband. We've got our Tokyo Disney Resort tags there. These do have an FAC number on them. And based on the photos that I can find online of these actual ears that I know come from Tokyo, they again, they look totally identical. And the seller didn't have many available. I think this was the last one. I have another older video comparing some counterfeit merchandise from Tokyo Disneyland, but there is nothing about this pair of ears that I can pinpoint or see as looking fake at all. So in conclusion, the kind of update to this investigation on Minnie Mouse ear authenticity. There's definitely some ears that seem to be, you know, technical full counterfeits. There's others that do seem to be true scrappers or factory seconds. And there's others that seem to kind of be somewhere in between there. But based on the make of everything and all the materials used and the construction, it seems like they are coming from the actual factories that Disney does work with. So they're all pretty much the exact same quality of ears that you would buy in the parks. Just know that if it comes with a really shiny Shanghai tag that says Winnie the Pooh on it, that that does not mean it's coming from Shanghai Disney Resort. I think this is mainly important for people who really do view ears as a collectible, especially with like the limited edition and limited release type ears, since souls will often resell for much more than their actual retail price. But honestly, I think Disney's retail price for the ears is so exorbitantly high. I think they're still always kind of behind on the trends and like trying to play catch up to small shops that, you know, I still don't really have too much of a problem of buying ears direct from the source. Now, obviously these have only come from a few sellers and I know there's tons of different listings out there. So let me know your experience if you've bought some of these super cheap Minnie Mouse ears on eBay or AliExpress. But I'll be curious to see as kind of Disney continues this limited special fancy ear game, are you gonna see kind of more counterfeits pop up? But hopefully this was at least a little bit helpful if you kind of wanna look more into the authenticity of Minnie Mouse ears. But thanks for watching.